How's it going? It's been a while. You remember who I am? Shit, it's probably been about six, seven months since I put out a review. And I'm not even going to do a review. I was just bored. Um, I moved. Uh, that's the latest update. A lot of changes in my life and a lot of things going on. But I'm finally moved out of North Carolina and I have relocated to the Texas Hill Country. I finally took my homeboy Joe Rogan's advice and I moved to Texas. I didn't move to Austin. I'm about 45 minutes away from Austin in a little old town called LaGrange, Texas, and I dig it. And if you don't know where that's at, if you recall a movie uh, from the 80s called The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, The Chicken Ranch, that was here. And then if you're, you know, into ZZ Top, you remember they made a song called LaGrange, which I've never even heard. People just tell me about it all the time, and I've never even bothered to look it up. But yeah, man, I moved to the country. Um... Well, not really the country. I've moved to the hill country. So I'm in Texas, and uh, I was in Austin this morning taking one of my motorcycles in to get souped up. One of my uh, my 78 BMW Cafe Racer. Pretty cool bike. I don't have it here. I'll show you a picture of it, but it's pretty dope. Um, I built as much as I could on it, but it's to that point to get it, like, fine-tuned and souped up. I got to give it to the pros. So on the way back home, I stopped off at the Havana House in North Austin, cigar shop there. Let me tell you something. If you're in Austin, uh, go there. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. The humidor was the size of this garage here. Okay, it was huge, and they had everything. They had. I'm sure they didn't have everything, but they had all. You know, everything. Everything. <laughs> That's all I can say. I have not been in a cigar shop that has that much variety. Prices were good. And if you're a veteran, they give you a free membership. So you get like 10% off and then 15% off box prices. So I'm going to probably be a regular there. What am I smoking? Sorry. Sorry. I know I know you're curious. I'm smoking the uh, McFly by Oscar Valladares. This is a damn good cigar so far. Um, it starts off with a uh, with a shaggy foot, if you're familiar with it. If you're not familiar with it, try it. I know a lot of people slept on the... Uh, the Superfly years ago when it came out because it looked gimmicky and I kept telling people you got to try it you got to try it and then when they tried it they'd be like oh my god if they just didn't have that stupid band I would have tried it earlier but I kind of dig it and I kind of like this uh, Back to the Future reference he's got going on with the Martin Fly and the 1980s uh, looking band and box it's cool so the Shaggy Foot um, is actually a good experiment I guess because you get to see what the cigar tastes like without the wrapper, and then you get to see or realize. I'm trying to get this band off. Where is it? You get to realize how much flavor the wrapper actually lends to the entirety of the cigar. A lot of people, you know, it's it's a mixed debate, and uh, I don't know who the guy's name was or what the guy's name was. He's a famous cigar manufacturer, maker, roller back in the 90s when I read it. He says that the wrapper was just a, like a pretty dress that you put on, you know, you put on the lady. That the cigar's makeup was the filler and the binder for the flavor, and then the wrapper was just pretty. And I didn't even believe it then, but I didn't know a lot. I was still, like, lighting my cigars with cedar sticks, you know, and, and, and like, shaming guys that were doing it wrong because I had just read that book, The Art of Cigars, and I was a young kid, and I was stupid. So, um, 24 years later, uh, I, I don't bother anybody for what they're smoking, how they're smoking it, uh, whatever. How they light it, I don't care. You know, half the time, nine times out of ten, I'm using a Bic. But although my girlfriend did give me this lighter, which is pretty dope. Watch this. I don't know what this, this thing is huge. I don't even know if it's a cigar lighter, but look at that. Holy shit, if I let go of it, it'll shoot across the room. Man, you can light it. But I, I've got it all the way up there, but you turn it down, and it actually makes a, a pretty, well, that's even too big. But anyway, I'm normally using a Bic, to be honest with you. But um, anyway, what was I? Okay, the cigar. Um, so you start smoking the cigar, and you, 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 you get to taste the cigar for what it is without the wrapper. And, and, th and this one here is like, it's, it's a light, woody, maybe cedar, but I didn't really get strong notes of cedar. It was mainly like a balsa wood, um, a little bit of white pepper, 
and um, some dry roasted nuts. Maybe not, just the dryness. And it was like a dry on the palate, and it kind of reminded me of like roasted nuts. <laughs> but then that Mexican San Andreas wrapper, oh sorry, kicks in, and it gets sweet. It gets spicy, like cinnamon spice. It gets black pepper. And it doesn't transition. It transforms. Okay. Now, so I would say that overwhelmingly the majority of the flavor of this stick here is coming from that Mexican San Andreas wrapper. I can still get the, the wood, and it's more like a cedar wood now when you mix it with that cinnamon, you know, and that black pepper. It just it's it's like Spanish cedar. Um, there's there's almost a um, well almost there's a cinnamon baking spice, but there's almost like a slight syrup flavor. Not really maple, maybe just like corn syrup sweetness. But then the finish is dry. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Is that that dry, woody, airy type flavor. Perfect draw. Construction's beautiful. 